Welcome to this week's Lank West Fest. And we have some very exciting news this week here in the tea garden. And behind me, I have the Lancaster West Estate Neighbourhood Team Director, James Caspell, and who's here with an enormous cheque. Tell us more, James. Thank you, Robert. Yes, so Hannah and I are holding a £19.4 million cheque from central government for seven of the blocks on the Lancaster West Estate so that we can put a green recovery at the heart of our Grenfell recovery. This additional grant funding will allow us to meet the ambition promised the residents of a 21st century model estate and one that is carbon neutral by 2030. So James, what sort of things will you be looking at to make this estate carbon neutral? It's a great question Robert. So this additional funding will mean we can look at things like triple glazing, uh, solar panels to generate electricity on our roofs as well as high quality insulation to save residents energy bills and also to help save the planet. The additional benefit is that this will allow us to create dozens of new jobs uh, for residents in the local area, which means an investment in Lancaster West is an investment in North Kensington. Absolutely fantastic news. Um, so the cheque, right, is divided up by blocks. So the walkways, that's Barrenden, Testerton and Hurstway, get nearly 13 million of this money. And I believe our colleague Kadra is over at Campbell Court for more details. Thanks guys, I'm outside Comfort Court, which alongside Comfort Walk is set to receive three and a half million pounds of additional investment of this additional investment of this money. Interestingly, the flats and houses of Comfort Court are the worst performing properties in the whole of the estate in terms of their energy performance certificates. So we'll be able to deliver a significant improvement for the residents living in these blocks. And separately to that, we have the Green Home Grant funding for the roof, which will go towards a green roof and possibly a, a solar panel. This is all exciting stuff. It's now over to my colleague Lizzie, who's outside Moorland House. Thanks, Kadra. So we're here at Moorland House. Now, Moorland House and Talbot Grove House are sharing over £3 million from the funding pot. These are some of the oldest blocks on the estate. They're both 1930s blocks and they have original features such as the much loved sash windows. And Moorland House also has some of the oldest kitchens and bathrooms on the estate. So it's going to be a real challenge for the designers to reflect the style of these buildings whilst also improving the energy efficiency. Now some of the money is going to go towards the internal refurbishment on energy efficient devices such as LED lighting and water saving shower heads. So it's going to be really exciting to see the end results in these buildings. Back to you in the tea garden. Thanks, guys. Well, also here is Hannah from the Lancaster West Estate Neighbourhood team. Welcome, Hannah. So who oversaw the funding application. So tell us about the fund, Hannah. So the fund that we applied for was called the Social Housing Decarbonisation Fund. Uh, this was a fund that was created by the government to help meet their target of becoming net zero carbon by 2050 to help tackle the climate crisis. Um, this particular round of the fund is a demonstrator. So they wanted projects that they thought could help improve the energy efficiency of social housing in ways that would improve the lives of residents within these homes, help reduce carbon emissions and also produce lessons for future for future projects. Um, they also made it happen this year because they thought that this would be a good way of supporting a green recovery from the pandemic and to create lots of new green jobs. It really is a great honour. So why, Hannah, did uh, the government go for Lancaster West Estate? So um, they went for Lancaster West because one, because they thought that this is a really good opportunity for us to um, really lead the way on uh, reducing carbon emissions, helping reach that net zero goal. So the government have a goal of becoming net zero by 2050, but Lankwest wants to become net zero by 2030. So we're quite ahead of the curve compared to quite a lot of places across the UK and they thought this would be a really good opportunity for others to learn. Um, they were also really impressed by the co-design aspect of our work, so the fact that it's a collaborative effort from the Lankwest neighbourhood team and residents to work together to produce something that really works for everyone. So altogether we got um, just over 19 million and that was out of a total 50 million allocated, so it's a really good result for Lankwest. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks Hannah. And now we go over to three people in the Residents Association. Abbas the Chair, the Vice Chair David and Mushtaq. 
So um, I'm kind of slightly overwhelmed by this news. Abbas, what do you feel? What are your, what's your reaction and what do you hope that we achieve? I think with this substantial budget, uh, what we can do, we can tackle the heating system problem that we have all over the state. One, we have temporary boiler for walkways that is not adequate enough and residents are suffering. Many people are still in the cold. Uh, also, other part of the state is the same with four days of neglect. Hopefully, things can, can be put uh, in the right place and everything's been improved and probably uh, we can meet the standard that our residents deserve the level that they should be living in 21st century model estate. So hopefully if we can achieve that, that would be a good achievement and a good use of the money. Absolutely, very, very well said. And over to David, a resident, and uh, your, your, what, what do you have to say? I mean, we're all a bit overwhelmed, but um, I'd like to hear your point yeah, of no. view. I think this is really great. I mean, it's taken so much work from so many different people to make this happen. From the W11 team, from Hannah, from the Residents Association lobbying with the government to try and get this money to happen and out of 50 million pounds we've got 20 million pounds for the whole country we've got 20 million pounds worth of the budget yeah. and I think I mean it's going to make such a difference to people's lives here because I mean that these these flats are so not fit for purpose anymore they're so they're cold and drafty and having triple glazed windows and proper insulation across the state will make people, so many people so much happier. Absolutely I mean it's very much a team effort isn't it it's like so I mean Hannah has coordinated it but everyone's been involved and we re and we deserve this and it's such good news and to Mushtaq Lashari resident for many many years here a final word from you sir thank you very much can I first of all start by welcoming this a good news and a great news but this is because of the Greenfield Tower and the government agenda of a uh, uh, neutralization and green country and we are the uh, uh, at the moment president of that all over the world and I think the Prime Minister has announced that there will be a big conference in November in Scotland and then he wants to push all other countries so this is a very good news we are moving toward 21st century by doing this uh, in Lancaster West Estate I have been part of this resident association for past almost 40 years I have been part of TMO as well but I think the leadership at present time whether it is W level leadership or Lancaster West Estate is very committed and the people, they want to bring in the people, all the residents, the future residents, the young people, the old people, the women, everybody should get involved. I agree with Abbas and David that this estate needs a lot of funding and a lot of upgrading. Uh, we, we got some funding previously for decent homes, but it was never, it was never completed. For this time, I hope that this funding will be delivered and the people of this estate will live much more peacefully and more uh, comfortably. Very well said. You know, good things can happen. You know, spring is in the air. This is good news. We can all get involved. It's exciting. And we deserve it. Yes, we can. We can make this estate a wonderful green estate. Thank you so much. Thank you.